Alrighty. So, looking at a weight shift. Not looking at, you're saying here, arms and head. Okay. So, I'm going to ignore all of that. I think one of the things you need to pay attention to when it comes to weight shifts, which I'm not quite seeing in here, is that and it's a common thing that I'm seeing. Uh, imagine you have, let's keep this like that. And then we have, this could be a leg, a stick, whatever it is, you know, that's a specific height. Now imagine, I'm going to be all clumsy here. Oh, kind of like that ish. So when you are standing and then you're shifting over, you have to remember that this is what happens to the legs. If that makes sense, I'm more enamored by drawing arrows here. Meaning that when you are shifting your weight over, right, you got your legs like this. So when you shift over, what's going to happen is that you're leaning over this. This will be more like that. And then the hips will go up this way, right? Because all the weight is on this leg. But the root is also going to drop. So imagine you are, you know, this is your, your, your hips here, you're standing and you're falling backwards. You're going to be like this, right? That's the body, body head. And you're falling backwards that's going there's going to be an arc so when you have any type of weight shift and you're like this and you're leaning over there's going to be a drop yes one side will be up higher and then there might be like less of a noticeable arc but you're still going to be high and then low high and then low depending on the weight shift so i'm going to try something here <laughs> and let's say your character is like this Straight. I'm already cracking myself up. It's going to be so horrible. Let's find another color. Let's go crazy. And then you're leaning over. I would imagine it's going to be more like this. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But you're going to go along that line. I'm going to switch over to yellow just because I like yellow. So when you are doing this, I'm seeing a lot of straight pass here. So let me just draw somewhat straight line do some onion skinning and then you can see here right as you do this especially how it is very straight and you can go from this over here and you can extend the legs and now it's going to be up here maybe not that high but then you go over and then we're down here again right so if i look at the the crotch area it's such a strange word in english crotch it's like a frog see that somewhat you're going a bit lower there i guess or maybe i drew it wrong but it's just very very straight there you go you can see how that follows so make sure that we are higher and have an arc in the root that's the main thing was you asking me here good ways to practice weight weight shifts are like that i mean for weight there's a bunch of stuff and I'll, I'll email you i mean i'll reply to the email with a bunch of stuff there but right now in terms of your animation that's the main thing where you want to make sure that if you do have a weight shift like this, there are a couple things. For me, there will be the hips are, I'm exaggerating just to make a point, but the hips are higher on this side, right? Because all the weight is on this leg. Then as you move over, it's going to have an arc where the root is higher and the, the hips are straight. And then as you go over, it's not going to immediately shift over because you have kind of a, a shift and then you settle into the weight. She's kind of off balance at this point a little bit. Watch out how far over we are. But to me, it's kind of like the hips are like this. You go over, and they start to shift. And at the end, when you settle and you put all that weight on that leg, that's when it really kicks in. So to me, in the graph editor, it's not like the hips are doing like that. It's more like slow and then sure, like a bit of a bit of a drop there and settling into, into that where you get your contrapposta type of pose there. Here... Feel like i'm noticing this more which is cool it still feels a bit straight in terms of the path it feels like it's going fairly straight this way okay hold on if you are tracking this i feel like you have a little bit up and down but if i do this and i take an arrow along that line and you are doing let's see go backwards you're going a bit lower unless my drawing's a bit off but it still doesn't have quite the arc in there 
Again, we're ignoring arms and the head. So for me, it would be that kind of thing. Now, let me bring up a clip. Hold on. I always bring up the sequence in my camera lecture just because there's a great weight shift here and turn off the sound here as he goes over and what I like about that weight shift is there's so many things I like you know that's it's a different F and so in terms of the pose and how it's completely in character and you got that lift with the swing of the leg is great but there's a good sense of there's a certain speed you're going to have because you're shifting weight and there's going to be a fairly sudden, not linear, but a fairly sudden stop in that shift translate this way. Because now this leg is firmly planted and starting to push the other way. Even though it you know, has to have a bit of an angle this way, can't be fully straight. So with that, it starts to push against it. So that translate is going to stop pretty fast like that. It's not going to be like a, like that. It's going to have a, a noticeable stop. And during that noticeable stop, the hip is going to shoot up a bit again because suddenly uh, that thing just pushes up there. Just want to show that one. It has, it has a good, good sense of weight there as well. But that's what I would pay attention to. I like little changes in the feet. I think that's definitely neat. But I think you just want to push that. Like right now, I'm seeing a lot of just straight actions. If I had to look at something that stands out the most, it's that. So I would look at the arc that it has and then the sudden whoo, shift and the weight of that leg stopping that that weight shift and how that's going to push that hit up a bit sharper towards the end hope that makes sense and i will list some other things that you have here uh questions here in the email I'll lift uh lift I'm, I'm reading lifting here um i will list that in the email Alrighty, thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.